What's up guys, my name is Surya and today we are back here again with another video of um, As you can see from the title and the thumbnail of the video It's a response video to the learn from Yu-Gi-Oh! everything um, It's a response video to his recent video Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! theory, the Yu-Gi-Oh! timeline explained So, um, I just want to point out a, a small, mi a minor, maybe is maybe major to the map that he created, the timeline map that he created um, that is um, common sense and logical I mean yeah, it does make sense if you like look from if you look at the timeline it actually does make sense but um, but there's, there's something off because alright so I'm gonna like give you the evidence and to support what I'm, uh, what I'm trying to say um, so, as you can see, um, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, it begins in the year of 2180 and their characters of alternate version of uh, alternate characters alternate, alternate characters version wait, what? Alternate characters version? How do you think? Alright, um, characters the are from the alternate characters wait, 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 let me just look at this um, alternate universe version of the characters. Yes, there we go. Um, from Fidis and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And I was wondering, um, how they are in how they are inside Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc Five. Because Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc Five begins in the year of two thousand one hundred eighty, and for them to exist in in that show, or to appear in that show, it doesn't make sense because. They are by now supposed. They are by now supposed to be old or by now. How? Even if they are old, they should be dead by now. So that's the that's the only um, uh, yeah, the weird thing about this timeline. So, um, uh, we got characters from uh, we got characters like Jack Atlas, um, and who's that kid again? And Kai Kenjo. Wait, Kai Tenjo is not... Ah, uh, wait, wait, he's a Zexel guy. Wait, no. Yes, no. No, he's not... He's not part of IDs, right? Yeah, I know. And we got, okay, we got Crow Hogan. Um, from Fidis. And... And we got Esther Phoenix or Ido Phoenix from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And we got... Um... What is it? What? Alexis Rhodes from GX and... Um, also, Ryo Mafaruji in the one of the um, few estate that we found in the series of Yuga Arc 5. Uh, he's the brother of Alexis Rhodes, if I'm not mistaken. I've watched the Yu Gi Oh! JX at least before I drop. At least. So, um, if you can, okay, as you can see um, from. Uh, if, okay, okay, if you just put it into one single timeline, you uh, you give the monsters, you G GX, you give Zexel, and you give Arc Five. If you just see them as one single timeline, for Alice's roots to even appear in you give Arc Five, Arc Five is out of the equation, B because it's no way is is it's impossible for her to even as like appear. She's she's gonna she's bad she's 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 be dead by now. Huh. What what sorcery are they using, man? Um and also um including um who Aster Phoenix or Ido Phoenix. And we got Crow Hogan and Jack Atlas from Yu Gi Oh Fire Edis. They are alternate universe version of um the Fire Edis itself. For them to even also appear in this series in Yu Gi Oh Fire, they shouldn't be even exist. It's like the gap, the gap is way off. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX um, series ended in 2015 and uh, Edo Phoenix and um, Alice's Roots, they should be dead by now. Um, and also Jack Atlas and uh, what's it? Crow, Crow Hogan. Even though they are alternate universe version of the characters in the Fidis itself, they should be like also dead in you go up fire they should even appear at all because um, they are technically born 
after the year of 2015 and then that's when like the momentum or the bomb that exploded that made them often in Yu-Gi-Oh! Fridays and and Yu-Gi-Oh! Fridays ended in 2037 right yes no yes no yes and from 2037 to 2000 2001 2000 2000 2000 2080 yeah in the part uh, in the future they sh- they should they are not supposed to exist so meaning until Yu-Gi-Oh! Art 5 series has ended to get more um in-depth details or, or some few mistakes or we are we are we're gonna wait for the new series um v uh virtual virtual rains or uh, yeah v rains uh vr rains uh, whatever vr i mean it does make sense vr vr rains because it's a virtual world uh, virtual reality I hey i pronounce that properly correctly yeah hell yeah so until we wait for that new series um we we, are, we we can't like assume that this timeline is definitely 100% um foolproof um correct but i can say that that uh we have the foundation of um how the yugo timeline is supposed to look like but there's um few um, mysteries here and there and few Un- que- unanswered questions and yeah so uh, i don't approve of this time uh, of, of this timeline but we can wait and see you, you, you can improve your timeline here and so so dylan good job for mapping out this timeline I, i'm not sure if you're gonna watch this video at all it's terrible it's very very terrible in seven minutes 37 oh my gosh i wish your i wish your seven minutes Oh no, I wasted your 8 minutes. For F's sake. Alright. Let's end here right now, right? Yeah, whatever. Subscribe, enjoy. I messed up. Yeah, whatever. Bye-bye.